A political fight in Alberta got underway today with a provincial election called for May 29th. After weeks of unofficial campaigning, the leaders of the two main parties went on the attack. As CTV's Alberta Bureau Chief Bill Fortier reports, they threw their opening jabs in a key battleground city. While it's felt like an election in Alberta for months, now it's official. Well, thanks so much. Good morning. United Conservative Party leader Danielle Smith kicking off her election campaign with a promise to cut income taxes. This permanent billion-dollar tax cut will provide meaningful, timely tax relief to Albertans at a time when they need it most. What an amazing crowd. The NDP's Rachel Notley focusing on health care and a plan to attract and keep doctors. We won't privatize it, we'll strengthen it. We won't fight with doctors, we'll recruit doctors. Both parties chose Calgary to launch their platforms. A strategic move, it's expected whoever wins there will form government. And they both know it, and so the way in which they're organizing their campaigns reflect that. Really what it tells us is the undecideds are going, are going to really decide this election. Smith has already sweetened the deal for a new arena for the Calgary Flames, offering up $300 million for roads and transit in the area. The NDP not taking a position on that deal yet. There's going to be that ardent support for that arena, and that's going to be good for the UCP. There's going to be that ardent uh, anger that there's public dollars going into this, so we'll see how the NDP handles that. On day one, both leaders wasted no time trading barbs, Smith attacking Notley on her previous government's fiscal management. It's a choice between moving Alberta forward and building a brighter future or returning to the NDP's costly and failed policies. Notley taking shots at her opponent's missteps since becoming Premier, including a leaked call with controversial preacher Artur Pulowski while he was facing criminal charges connected to last year's border blockade at Coots. We'll lead a government that takes phone calls from nurses, not extremists. <laughs> Election day is May 29th. At least one televised debate is expected, and it could be an important one with both polls and experts saying right now, Omar, it's too close to call. And we will be there in Alberta on Election Day. Bill Fortier, thank you so much.